Hello everyone, I'm Santeo Santeo and today I'm going to be testing Outlast 2 demo on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti with overclock to check the current memory clocks, check the description below for FPS monitoring, I'll be using cam, if you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the cam logo is, or check the description below if you want to learn more. So Outlast 2 demo. I'll do 1080p, 900p and 1440p, if you want to skip to any of those resolutions, check the description below. So, well, I wasn't expecting this to release today, so it caught me by surprise. Also, horror games are not my cup of tea, so I was <laughs> very terrified to try it out. And I did, I got some jump scares, but then I got used to it as I repeated the same gameplay session. But anyway, so the game runs way better than I expected, actually. So on 1080p, my suggestion for the 750 Ti is to keep shadows on medium, geometry on high, depth of field on low, fog on low, anti-aliasing on FXAA, effects on medium, motion blur turn off, textures on high instead of very high, since the game usually goes up to 2GB of VRAM usage, but for 1080p that should be enough for 60fps. Shadows from medium to high are the biggest jump in frame rate, so if you have performance issues just lower shadows from high to medium, that's a big FPS boost. Then anti-aliasing, you might want to disable it if you want like 4 FPS more. And then fog effects, the fog effects, yeah, fog, from high to low, which are only the two options. I suggest keeping it on low, it's a good FPS boost too, and you can get pretty much 6 FPS. The game is capped at 62 FPS, so you, can, you cannot go any higher. There is also some chromatic aberration that some people might hate. You cannot disable it just yet, but remember that this is a demo, so they should be able to <laughs> get a better, a better PC port by then. But the game runs way better than I expected to be on a demo. On 1440p I had to lower some settings, but yeah, I still managed to stay over 40 FPS, from 50 to 60 FPS, which is pretty good. And then on 900p I just show in less than a minute that on 900p you cannot even use shadows on high. So shadows on high are not recommended for this card unless you play on a lower resolution than 900p. But yeah, I mean on 900p I show that with shadows on high I get 45 FPS and if I move them from high to medium I get a boost to 60 with some horsepower to spare. And the game uses less CPU than I expected to. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 